Not really sure what I should do for the intro of this video. I've got an idea. The hierarchy of power. So Black Adam is about the DC Comics character Black Adam, who is freed from being imprisoned for the past 5,000 years. And now he goes toe to toe against the Justice Society who is trying to stop Black Adam from serving his own kind of justice. All right, so first up, I've said it before, I am a fan of Dwayne Johnson, but I admittedly was concerned about how his performance would play out as Black Adam, but I think he did pretty good. I wouldn't say that this is his best role, but I can tell that he is putting the work in on camera, especially when he's obliterating his enemies literally, and going against the JSA. Basically, the tough guy Black Adam scenes, tough guy sounds like an insult, but I don't mean it that way. They're here, and they're pretty cool. All right, in fact, a little side note, I saw an article saying that prior cuts of this film were actually given the R rating. So they went into the film and cut some things down to get into that PG-13 rating. And it's probably just because I saw that article. Matter of fact, I know it's because I saw that article, but there were some moments in this movie where I could see where it was borderline R rated. I mean, there's a scene with some Raiders of the Lost Ark type stuff going on. So yeah, I could have definitely seen this movie going darker than what it was. Now I think about it, that's kind of a negative towards the film because I think I would have liked to see it go darker than what it was. There's a lot of scenes, the majority of scenes actually, especially when Black Adam is not kicking butt, where the tone really lightens up and I think a darker tone for a Black Adam solo film could have been fitting. Just something I thought of. Speaking of moments when Black Adam isn't fighting, that's whenever I found myself kind of questioning the quality of the Black Adam character, which at first I thought was Dwayne Johnson's performance as the character, but the more I think about it, the more I think it's just what they wrote the character to do and say. But what Dwayne Johnson was given, I thought he did fine with. Then we have the JSA, which I thoroughly enjoy. So hopefully we get to see more of that. On the other hand, an issue that I have with this movie, they did the thing that we've seen comic book movies do before, where they just cannot focus on one, maybe two things. Clearly, it is normal for a movie to have more than one plot line going on. It's called subplots. Sometimes they're just not done right. And sometimes there's just straight up too many. For instance, Black Adam has like four plot lines going on here. Four, if not more than that. I have to give them credit in the sense that the movie isn't confusing, but there's just a lot going on. So it's definitely a bit overstuffed. At least it feels that way. One pretty important plot line is pretty much ignored until the third act. In fact, a couple of the plot lines feel a bit underdeveloped. And really there are a few elements that pop up in this movie that if they were focused on more, it probably would have made for a better movie. I will say, thankfully, Black Adam did not feel sluggish. The whole movie seemed to keep up a nice pace, had a good amount of energy throughout and it kept me engaged. So overall, Black Adam is a bit of a mixed pack to me. I did enjoy it, but it could have been improved. Again, Dwayne Johnson did good in the role. The action was really solid and plentiful. The visual effects were really solid. I loved how they handled Black Adam's powers. The suits were really cool, including Hawkman and Dr. Fate. And the movie really was entertaining. But yeah, it could have been simplified and maybe even a little more original, among other pros and cons. So with that, I say Black Adam was flawed, but still fun. And I give it a somewhat medium rewatch probability. I got a feeling that this could be a rating that changes with time. For better or worse, I don't know, but we'll see. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Black Adam. But now, Jojo, let me know your thoughts on Black Adam in the comments below. And while you're scrolling, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more like it. But most importantly, thank you for watching, and most, most importantly, have a great day. <laughs>